Hello, I'm Bradley. Welcome to my channel and first things first, if you are new here and you have not subscribed, please do so. It would really, really help me out in where I am trying to get my channel to go. You don't have to, but it would really help me out. Now let's get down to it. What am I talking about today? Well, it is so, it might sound really, really strange, but this came to me when I was getting ready this morning for work. Of course, we're working from home at the moment because of the pandemic. It's been an absolute corker of a year in 2020, hasn't it? Now we're in 2021. Unfortunately, it hasn't really seemed to have improved yet. But of course, we're all hopeful that things get back to normal throughout the whole world as soon as possible. And I think what has really, really taught me from that is that I spend far too much time worrying about the silly little things in life which don't matter. Number one being, if I choose a certain hairstyle, somebody's going to look at me, somebody's going to make an assumption. Um, and then actually, when you break all that down and you think about that across a huge wide scale, um, men and women, of course, of all ages, worry about how they look, how they style their hair, how they make choices. And for example, it really does just actually teach us that all those things mean very, very little. As long as you're happy um, and you're well and you're healthy and your family are well and healthy. And if you're not causing any issues or problems, then what on earth does it matter? So when I was getting ready this morning, I was doing the classic sort of slick back with loads of hair gel. And I thought, do you know what? Today, no. This is a little bit boring. It's Friday. We're going into the weekend. I used to wear really very, uh, very sort of big volumized styles. Um, even my twin brother calls me Johnny Brother. <laughs> you know, from growing up, from um, the sort of huge hairstyles and things. And do you know what? That's what I really, really like. People know me for having real sort of big out there hair. But do you know what? I went through a stage, well, actually, and this is really sad, and I take all of this back now. I went through a, a stage of actually wearing my hair in these sort of hairstyles with lots of volume, lots of shape and things. And um, I went through a stage and I had a few looks when I was at my, and, and it was really almost as though that I'd done something absolutely horrifically bad and had these couple of looks and it, it, it never used to worry me. And then there was this particular time when I thought to myself, you're judging. Why are you judging me? You don't know me. If I was to tell you that I'm an accountant and I'm furthering my education, I'm 27 and I've worked damn hard, would you judge me differently than actually just judging me on my appearance and because of my choice of hairstyle, a brush and a can of free spray? Yeah, sounds stupid, doesn't it? It's because it is. So getting ready this morning, I really thought to myself, after work, I am going to make a bit of a sort of a statement on my channel, um, a little bit of a, I don't, I don't really know, but it, if from anything, anybody will listen to me and actually think that if you want to do something or if you want to wear a certain sort of style or if you want to sort of do your hair in a certain style and you're watching this and you're a man or a woman or perhaps in your job role, that if you do something different or if you do something out of character with your your choice of clothes or your hairstyle or even your hair colour, um, don't worry about it because it's your life. It's your head of hair and at the end of the day and i thought of this when i was getting ready this morning if you've got hair grab some personality and enjoy it particularly if you're a man because later on in life you never know if you're gonna have hair let's be honest you don't know if you're gonna have hair i don't know if i'm gonna have all this hair in 10 20 years even two weeks time to be quite honest with you things change if anything has taught us throughout this this real horrific drawn out time through this coronavirus pandemic is that me and i know so many other people would have spent so much time worrying about the small things which don't necessarily matter and you know what i am i'm i'm terrible for saying that because actually off of this i worry about every single little thing now somebody who was amazing at that people in my family straight off who are amazing at not not doing that my dad and my mum so so resilient so strong and so strong-minded my twin brother wow strength st strong-minded my nan the most stubborn strong <laughs> strong-minded strong willpowered person ever me don't know when to say no <laughs> i say yes to everyone try to help everybody and you know i wouldn't change that but then sometimes it leaves very little time for me um and i worry about what every everybody thinks so i thought this i thought the last couple of days you really need to start telling yourself do you know what the small things don't matter We've gone through all of this and now actually, do you know, when I have a bad day or if I'm having an absolute corker day at work, I actually sort of close the laptop screen and I go away and I make myself a drink or something and I think to myself, do you know what? 
moaning about work, perhaps I'm dealing with these people who actually aren't sort of as worried and as bothered about it as what I am. But do you know what, actually, through everything what's happened in this pandemic, I'm grateful that I'm just stood in this situation and that I've got what I've got in life. And I don't mean money and I certainly don't mean materialistic things. I mean that I can still breathe and I can still enjoy my family and I can still come away from that. And I can enjoy the company and the love and the respect and, and the most amazing family I have. Then you start thinking to yourself that the small things in life are the most important. And actually these little tiny worries we have don't necessarily mean if anything at all. So going back to what I started off with my clip saying, if you've got hair, grab some personality and enjoy it. So for example, if you think that this style doesn't suit me, I don't care. <laughs> I probably do, but I don't care because I like it. The hair off on one side, lots of volume, lots of shape swooped across. It's growing out longer now. Hopefully you like it. I like the colour which is growing. It's really grown out now because of the lockdown. I haven't been to the hairdresser since the uh, since December. So I, I like how it's going. I, I it's it's me to be honest. I like the volume. I like the texture. And you know what? let's be fair to be quite honest with you. Whatever hair, whatever hairstyle you've got, whatever hair colour you've got, however you however you choose to conduct yourself, within reason of course, it it if it, if you're happy with it it doesn't matter to anybody else, does it? And do you know what? To those people who do make it their point in their problem, they're not really worth it. It took me, and it's still taking me, a hell of a long time to to agree with myself on that, actually. Um, a lot of these sort of life stories, life ethics, and all this sort of personality comes from being really obsessive and actually keep turning to my mum and saying, actually, mum, I'm really, really worried about this. Is this going to be okay? I'm really, really worried about this. Is this going to be okay? Then I'll do it too. I used to do it to my nan. Is this going to be okay, nan? Is this okay, nan? Um, and my twin brother, I do it to him all the time. And it's and it's sort of like, eventually you do start to build these, these sort of building blocks in life and you start to build yourself a bit of an armour and actually go to ask a question. You think to yourself, stop being an idiot because you already know the answer. And then you go to do it again and, and again. You have the odd day. Of course you do. But um. Yeah, a work in progress, you could say. So, that, that all of this, it's Friday, and you know what? Just switching off on the small things really just allows us to breathe. And and that and let's be honest. I mean, for example, so many horrific things you see in in on the news and on the TV all the time about because somebody looks a certain way or because somebody acts a certain way. One certain way, assumptions are made. All of this about about race and and colour, and uh, you do think to yourself, what on earth has humanity come to when we are judging somebody just simply by the colour of their skin? Um, and and you, and you just think to yourself, really, are we are we doing this? Do people have those thoughts? Really? Um, so yeah, it does. It it's. People don't surprise me, to be quite honest. People don't surprise me. And that's sad, isn't it? That's a really, really sad notion. It really, really is. But if you take anything away from this clip, it's just a little sort of snippet, little section of my Friday afternoon after work thinking, do you know what? There's a bigger notion behind it rather than just got hair, grab personality, enjoy it. It's just that, do you know what? There are there are bigger things to worry about in life and enjoy the small things. And those nitty gritty worries, let them go because... Life's too short. Life's too short. You need to enjoy it. You need to grab hold of it. And you know what? And, I, and from one of my favourite films, actually, um, this comes from when it is said that um, that uh, life is precious because we never know when it's going to come to an end. And this last year or so has taught us that. So why spend time worrying about the small things? Because <sighs> if only I could get that in here. <laughs> so. Tomorrow, when you wake up for your Saturday, if you want to put your hair sky high, if you're a man and you're watching this and you want to you want to do a pompadour, if you don't even want to bother, don't. Because it's your life. It's your hair, your character, your personality. And as long as you're well and healthy and the people around you you love is everyone's okay, nothing else really matters. Thanks very much for sharing this with me. As ever, I really, really enjoyed this. Um, I hope you have too, and I hope you can take something away from that. So on this Friday afternoon, coming into the evening, I wish you well, have an amazing weekend, and until next time, we will see you then. Bye-bye now.